Hi, my name is Imperius, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Street League and what makes a motor street legal. Today I'm going to talk about some of the motors currently available that are street legal, and I'm going to give them a rating based on personal experience of their durability, of their cost, and of their performance. But before we get into that, let's talk about what makes a motor street legal. Any of the information that I talk about today can be found on streetleague.io under the spec tab. When we look at the Street League rulebook version 3, we have a certain set of specifications for our motors. When we talk about street legal motors, we have a couple of criteria. First of which is only four motors are allowed. You cannot have three, and five is right out of the question. When we talk about the size of a motor, what we're looking for is the volume of the stator, and it must be less than 4,950 cubic millimeters. We see that a 1250 kV is recommended, but higher or lower kVs are permitted. We'll talk a little bit later about what kVs are and aren't allowed, and what's preferred. And then we have Rule 2.4. Basically, Rule 2.4 says that the motor must be available for people to purchase before its first use at a street league event. This is to prevent anybody from showing up to an event with a prototype motor that nobody has access to. To make things easy, we're going to talk about four of the most common street legal motors. The first of which being the Brother Hobby Avenger 2510 1250kV motor. This is one of the very first motors to become street legal and is the same specifications as the one used on the DRL Racer 4. It is a 2510 stator size, but the one we're going to look at today is that 1250kV variant. Coming in at 2499, this motor runs about the middle of the pack. We're going to give it a 3 star in the price department. While this motor does perform among the best, getting a rating of 4 out of 5 stars in the performance department, it is a little bit of a glass cannon. We're going to give it a 2 out of 5 stars for durability. It has a tendency to snap at the base in Rex. The next motor that we're going to look at is the first motor to come to the Street League store, and that is the Hyperlite 2807.5 1322kb. Right off the bat, we're going to give this motor a 5 out of 5 stars for price. It is the best bang for your buck motor that is currently available. As far as durability is concerned, we're going to give these motors a 4 out of 5 stars. Pilots have been running this motor for a while now, and it has held up in gnarly wrecks. On the performance scale, we're going to give these motors a 4 out of 5 stars. These are a very high performing motor and are very competitive at the highest tiers of Street League. The next motor we're going to talk about is the Eco 2 2807 motor. And this one's going to come with a little bit of a caveat. It does say that it's rated at 1300 kV, but the actual tested kV of these motors fluctuates a lot. What this means is when you go to tune your motor output limit for your tested KV, you are going to get much more different results. That said, the price point of this motor is fantastic, coming in at just $16.99, so we're going to give it a 5 out of 5 stars there. The performance of this motor is also very good, we're going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. And the durability of this motor has been tested and true. We're going to give it also a 4 out of 5 stars. And the last motor we're going to look at today is the Xnova 2808. In the performance and durability departments, after testing, we have found that this motor trades blows with the best of the best currently available motors. In the performance department, we're going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars, rivaling any of the motors available today. In the durability department, we're also going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. It's very rare that they break, but when they do, you know you have wrecked really hard. And while that's all fine and dandy, we're going to have to give it a 2 out of 5 stars for the price point, coming in at $31.99. It's worth noting that these four motors we talked about are not the only four motors that are street legal. 
but they are some of the most popular motors among Street League pilots, and for very good reason. In a later video, we'll talk about what we can do on the software side to make sure that any motor you choose to bring is on an even playing field with all of your other competitors. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding Street League, or specifically Street Legal Motors, drop it down in the comments below, or head on over to streetleague.io and find the Discord link. We can answer your questions there. Happy flying, and we'll see you in the next one.